Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a Jill Malone video. This is a much requested video to share my collection and how I like to kind of mix and match um, some of my favorite combinations since these fragrances are um, designed to be able to layer them and wear them together and create your own unique scent. And so um, I have several that I do that quite a bit with and I will kind of share a little bit about each one and then tell you about some of my favorite ways to combine some of the fragrances that I love. So um, I'm not going to get too much into the notes or anything like that because I think the name of these fragrances really speaks to exactly what they smell like, um, but I will kind of tell you what kind of feelings or emotions they conjure up for me. Um, scent for me is such a strong, so strongly related to kind of my memories and how I'm feeling and um, all of that kind of stuff. So depending on how I feel, that's how I decide what fragrance I'm going to wear and or how I want to feel sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just get started and tell you about what fragrances I have and then how I kind of like to wear them. So I have, um, I should have counted, 13 Yes, 13 fragrances total. Um, seven of those are in the full size bottles and then six of them are in the smaller size bottles. I do think going forward, I would probably purchase the smaller travel size bottles because I have so many that I don't think I could ever use them all up. So um, I went on a little bit of a kick a couple years ago when I found Jo Malone. I'm gonna start with actually the first fragrance I ever um, purchased and um, yeah, I went a little nuts as soon as they started telling me about how to kind of create my own bespoke scent by fragrance combining and layering, I was addicted. So um, the first fragrance that I bought, which I thought was going to be my one and only, <laughs> is the Jo Malone um, Mimosa and Cardamom. And this is a beautiful, soft, creamy floral scent that I like to wear. It was fall when I bought it and um, it's something I love to wear in the fall and into the winter. It is really smooth and there's something about it that is just soft and um, a little bit powdery and a little bit sweet and just really comforting. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Chanel Beige. I think I've said that before. Um, and it's just a really beautiful scent and one that I do like to layer with another one. So I'll get into that later. <laughs> The next fragrance, I think it was actually the next one that I purchased, is the English fra yeah English Pear and Freesia, and um, this cologne is like the complete opposite of the Mimosa and Cardamom. This is a really fresh, um, energizing scent. It definitely has some fruity notes um, and a little bit of citrus, um, but at the same time, it is floral. And it's just a really bright, wake you up kind of scent. I would probably never wear this in the evening. For me, this is very much a going out in the daytime scent. And um, it's a little bit more of a casual scent as well. But really, really love this and love to pair it with something that I'll show you. <laughs> um, and then the next fragrance I've got is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Not even sure if you can see the names on these, but this is one of my favorite fragrances from Jo Malone, and one of the reasons is because I love to layer it with other things. Um, on its own, it is very warm and woody and out, it just smells like the great outdoors by the ocean. It's just a really beautiful, um, calming scent, but at the same time, it is um, the scent that I spray with other scents when I don't want them to be too strong or too heavy or too cloying. Um, I feel like this just is light enough and clean enough that it just um, really can help balance some of those fragrances. So that is one of the reasons I love wood sage and sea salt so much. And I tend to wear this more in the spring and in the fall weather, kind of trans, it's a very transitional fragrance for me. When it's really cold outside, I don't really reach for this. And when it's too hot, I don't reach for it either. So uh, that's the wood sage and sea salt. And then getting into my Cologne Intense fragrances, I have the Velvet Rose and Oud. And this is a fragrance that is intoxicating to me when I smell it in the bottle. It is really, really heavy though. It is, um, 
I'm not someone who loves rose scents. I like roses in my house. There's a lot of Jo Malone scents, by the way, that I love the smell of, but I don't want to wear them. I just want them around me. So some of the candles I've purchased and other home fragrance products um, are definitely things that I love the smell of, but I don't necessarily want to smell like. So the Velvet Rose and Oud is one of those fragrances. Um, it's turning into one of those fragrances, quite frankly, because it is very heavy and very powerful. Um, almost too powerful. So this is one of the ones that I do like to layer um, because it is just such a strong scent and I only need like a little bit of this. Um, and I do probably only would wear that. Yeah, I probably would only wear this in the evening going out somewhere um, because it is really powerful and um, but amazing at the same time. Like I smell it and I just want to keep smelling it. And when I put it on, I just keep smelling myself. Um, it does smell amazing, but um, it is a deep, dark, intoxicating scent and um, almost a little too powerful for me. The next one I have here is the Rose Water and Vanilla. And this is a discontinued fragrance that I was able to get my hands on from Stanley Dragon Jr. Hi, if you're watching, Melissa. Um, this is a really beautiful um, rose water and vanilla. What else can you really say? It's um, again, a very strong scent, but in a very, um, in a very, how do you say this? Not a subtle way. What does this remind me of? It almost reminds me of like a potpourri, like it has the vanilla in it and it has the florals in it, that it reminds me of walking into like a really nice gift shop or something. Like it's a really beautiful scent and that's probably sounding terrible, like some <laughs> terrible like Hallmark store, but that's not what I mean. It, um, it reminds me of like going into like a fine stationery store where they might, you know, have some sort of scent in the air that is, um, homey or relaxing and comforting and um, it's just a really pretty scent um, and this is one that I haven't really paired with anything I think it stands well just on its own and um, it's really beautiful and reminds me of pretty much nothing else I've ever worn in the past the next one is my favorite of my Jo Malone fragrances um, by a long shot it is the dark amber and ginger lily and this is a deep dark woody spicy delicious fragrance that I just smell and I'm like oh, it's comforting it's warm it's all the things that I look for in a fragrance in the winter time and in the fall this is like a really warm comforting fragrance but then in the summertime I feel like there's something about um, this fragrance that reminds me of the smell of like coconut or something so it is something that I could wear definitely in the summertime as well in like a humid day on a humid day by the beach or something like that um, I think it would still have that comforting very relaxed kind of effect um, relaxed is definitely a word I would use to describe this and I absolutely love it and then probably my second favorite of my all of my Jo Malone fragrances is the tuberose angelica and this is another one that I do like to pair with a lot of different things as I do with dark amber and ginger lily and this is um, just a fl beautiful floral it's a little bit strong at times um, and a little bit sweet but it's just beautiful I love the smell of tuberose and um, this one absolutely delivers it's just a beautiful floral um, with a soft sort of undertone of kind of warmth and um, and comfort again me and my comfort I like fragrances that are comforting I don't tend to wear a lot of heavy florals that are too bright or too energizing I tend to go for the ones that are kind of um, darker and um, deeper in their in their fragrance okay and so getting into the smaller bottles and I realize I'm doing a lot of talking so I'm gonna go through these as quickly as I can um, I have the Earl Grey and cucumber and this is a really comforting <laughs> scent as well this one to me smells like I mean as the name would suggest it smells like having a cup of tea and um, taking a stroll through like an English garden <laughs> so um, this is a really beautiful fragrance and one that I do tend to wear all by itself um, I also have the nectarine blossom and honey this is another one that I love to pair with a lot of different things this is 
um, sweet and light and great for like the spring and summertime. And the basil and neroli, this is the only one I was actually sent as a gift from Jo Malone and I really love this. This is um, fresh from the basil and sweet and delicate from the neroli and just a really lovely fragrance, especially for this time of year. I've been getting a lot of use out of it recently. Then I have the Blackberry and Bay, and this is like no other fragrance. It's like a little bit tart and a little bit um, um, a little bit warm, but at the same time very fresh and invigorating. Invigorating this one, um, and pairs really lovely with a lot of my other fragrances. Next, I have Orange Blossom, and this smells exactly as the name would suggest. It smells like orange blossoms. Um, it's really beautiful in the um, summertime and the springtime, and it's just very bright and energizing and amazing. And then I've got the white jasmine and mint, and this is also kind of a floral that has that earthiness of the mint in it, which I absolutely love, and um, definitely a great recipe for summertime for me are things that are kind of floral and kind of fruity and kind of earthy and um, not anything too cloying when the weather gets really hot and humid here. So that is a little bit of all of the scents that I have. Now I'm going to get into some of my favorite um, combinations. So I had first talked about the mimosa and cardamom. This was the first fragrance I purchased. I do love it, but I do find it a little cloying sometimes because of the sweetness of it. So what I like to do to kind of pare that down is to use the wood sage and sea salt. And I think this is a great combination. Um, it just kind of tones this one down and adds a little bit of freshness. So um, the two really pair nicely together. Also with the wood sage and sea salt, I love to pair dark amber and ginger lily. Tuberose Angelica, also one that I love to pair with wood sage and sea salt. Um, Blackberry and Bay, another one that I like to pair with things that are sweeter. So the tartness of this fragrance goes really well with anything sweet. So Blackberry and Bay goes great with nectarine blossom and honey. I love the sweet and sour sort of combo of the two of them. And then the orange blossom, I love those two together as well. Orange blossom, we're gonna talk about that for a second because there's a few that I like to pair with that. Orange blossom pairs extremely well with white jasmine and mint. So the freshness of the white jasmine and mint, especially the mint with the orange, definitely a great combination. Also pairs really well with the basil and neroli. Again, same kind of freshness and the neroli that's in here with orange blossom, just sort of a, a match made in heaven. And the Earl Grey and Cucumber. Now this is a weird one, but I really wasn't feeling the English pear and freesia for a while. Um, it was just sitting and I wasn't using it because it was like a little bit too bright and energizing for me. But the Earl Grey and Cucumber seems to almost like tone this one down a bit because probably the cucumber in here or something that is just very um, light and airy as compared to English pear and and freesia, which is just like really kind of powerful. I think those do balance themselves. And you could also pair the wood sage and sea salt. Um, I don't do that often, but I could definitely see how that would kind of tone this one down as well. But my absolute favorite of all favorites, um, and this is going to sound completely crazy, but when I'm wearing dark amber and ginger lily, and then I want to spray, You did, I should have mentioned this right up front, you, these are all colognes, so they don't have great staying power. So you end up reapplying throughout the day, which is kind of nice because, again, that whole fragrance layering thing, you could be wearing two scents at one point of, during the day and then they start to wear off and you could add something else. So there are times when I've had kind of four fragrances going at once. but. The Dark Amber Ginger Lily is one that I wear the most, and so I've tried pairing it with a lot of different things, and I end up pairing it sort of accidentally um, because I've got it on by itself, and then later I will throw something over it. And the one that pairs so nice with this that I never would have thought 
is the Velvet Rose and Oud. And the two together for going out in the evening, this just kind of tones down the Velvet Rose and Oud in a way, and this really spices up the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, and together they are just glorious. So that is like kind of a new thing for me and something that I wish I had known earlier because we are getting into warmer weather now and I don't know that I would love the smell, especially the oud. It's like really strong on me. Um, and so as it gets really hot and humid, I know I won't like that as much, but that is the killer combo that I was wearing around the holidays and um, absolutely loving. So that is it for my Jo Malone collection and my how I like to pair my fragrances. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what some of your favorite pairings are so um, or just favorite fragrances from Jo Malone so feel free to leave those below and I will be doing a um, an entire fragrance collection video at some point. I'm still sort of weeding out some fragrances that are either just too old and don't smell good anymore, but I've been keeping them around because I love the bottle. Um, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm trying to weed through some of those and make some room um, for a few things that I've purchased recently uh, or over the holiday time. Um, and yeah, so I will do that probably coming up in the next few months. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all soon in my next video and have a great rest of your week. Bye.